hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and today we are going to be making coconut bread i'm going to be listing my ingredients in the description box below here's my flour my desiccated coconuts my yeast my milk you can use evaporated milk or you can use water instead and then here is my coconut milk which is our main ingredient here is my melted butter you can use vegetable oil here's my sugar my salt and then my eggs so the first thing we want to do we want to start um, by mixing our dry ingredients together we're going to mix adding our sugar mix 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 in no particular order then we're going to add in our salt going to add in our yeast mix then i'm going to pour in my desiccated coconut now guys you can do this by hand all you need to do just wash your hand and make sure your hand is thoroughly clean so here i've added my desiccated coconut i'm going to mix 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 before we start introducing our wet ingredients for our wet ingredients I started with my egg there is no particular order for this you can start with any of the wet ingredients i first broken my eggs into the flour mixture then i'm going to mix next i'm going to add in my melted water please guys your milk or water should be at um to be warm not cold not hot it should be warm so i heat up my milk the coconut milk and evaporated milk a little bit so it's warm to the touch this will enable our yeast to rise to act to be activated faster so here i'm going to be pouring in my coconut milk i mix 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 yeah this is a coconut bread after this i'm not sure you're going to be buying bread anymore because this is made with love quality i don't buy bread in my house i make them myself so if you learn how to make this you can easily do something for your kids to eat early in the morning before they rush off to school and you are sure of what they are eating quality and everything that a good mother should give to their children <laughs> so yeah i'm missing by hand and then at first it's going to be sticky not to worry by the time you mix very well it will stop being sticky and then you can see i'm going to put it on my work table and then i'm going to knead guys this is where the work comes in you have to knead very very well so i'm going to be sprinkling flour on my work table so this will enable me to knead very well bread needs you to be knead, needs to be kneaded thoroughly otherwise you will not have a, a good finishing so you need it very well if you have a mixer fine mixer can do the work for you if you do not have a mixer just use the process i am using to make your bread you know it's ready when it's now stretching and then doesn't stick to your hand again that's when you know that your bread dough is ready so the next thing we are going to do we are going to be rolling this flat on our work surface and then we are going to fold when i was a little when i was younger than this yeah i'm still very young <laughs> so when i was younger than this i used to think you can just dump everything into your pan but no you have to roll it so that you have a good finishing so while i'm rolling it and then the next thing we are going to do i'm going to fold into my pan so what i'm rubbing into my bread pan is vegetable oil this will make our bread to come out easily after baking so just you can sprinkle vegetable oil or rub it the way i'm doing with your pastry brush and after that you fold in your dough and then another important aspect of this is after folding your dough into your pan you have to look for a warm place very warm place to keep this dough so that it can rise I kept mine in my oven because my oven is already preheated. You're not putting on your oven, you're just keeping it there for it to rise. I already baked something, so my oven is warm. And then I'm going to gently keep this inside my oven for it to rise. Now, after 30 to 40 minutes, here is how our cake looks like. <laughs> you can see the lines there. That's my oven rack. So here is our oven our cake out of the oven see how beautiful it looks trust me guys you're not going to be buying bread again after this you are sure of the quality content 
Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? If you haven't, please do so and click on the notification button. Thank you very much. Bye.